Okay, so we're going to make some floral picture frames and I'm going to try two different methods here. I picked up these paper flowers at Hobby Lobby, so I'm going to use these on this small frame here. And both of the frames came from the dollar store. And then my uh, the other method I'm going to try is using Plaster of Paris to dip these, um, these silk flowers that are from the dollar store and make those hard. And then I'm going to attach them to this frame. And then we're going to paint everything. So to get started, I'm going to work on this one first. And... I'm going to go ahead and put a light coat of this chalk paint on. I think it'll just help once everything is, once I put my flowers on, that it'll all be painted really well. And it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, chalk paint has a nice texture to it and it usually self levels pretty good, but I like the added texture that it adds to whatever you're painting. Kind of gives it some character. Gonna put one thin coat on there um, before I put my flowers on. All right, so I've got a blow dry here, and I'm just going to speed along the drying process um, and get this good and dry so that I can start putting on my flowers. good and dry so now I'm just gonna use a couple of these paper flowers and my plan is to paint these um, if you like that shabby chic look it would be cute just to leave them this light pink color but for this project I'm gonna go ahead and paint the flowers so I want to put just a few kind of in the corners, like they're going up a little bit. So I'm just gonna kind of lay them out where I like it, and then I'll go back and glue them on. I kind of like how it looks like with them hanging over just a little bit. I think that looks cute. I wanted to do one little small one there. What do I think? Okay, I like that. I think that'll be cute. And then I'm gonna paint them all white. Okay, so I'm gonna move this to the side. And I'm just going to take a dab of hot glue and glue this down. it just for a minute so that glue hardens that I just put on and then I'm going to go back in and paint these so I'm going to use the same chalk paint and this chalk paint you can pick up at Walmart um, and since these are paper flowers I'm going to do several thin layers so that the paper doesn't start um, getting droopy I mean, this is really cute <laughs> just how it is I think you could totally just leave it like this and be sweet for a little girl's room 
Okay. So I'm going to put, I'm gonna kind of offload my paintbrush before I get on the paper. And honestly, if you have spray paint, this would work good with spray paint too. to put I mean of course a little family photo or something in here but I think I'm going to put um, a little quote about flowers so perfect spring and summer decor that's super simple and inexpensive and I'm not painting underneath every single one of these petals only the ones that I feel like you can kind of see This is where the spray paint would kind of be nice, um, but with a brush kind of like this, you can really kind of fold the leaves like that and get up under there easily. dry really quick. Okay, so as the flowers dry, they kind of are going to get a little bit crispy, which is what you want. So all I'm going to do now is go in and just touch up all the color that I can still see and just make sure everything's good and covered with paint. So you can kind of see like when I'm trying to get down in here, I'm just loading up my brush with quite a bit of paint and then just kind of dabbing it in there help get it covered okay so you can see when I touch the flower like it's still bendy you know but it's more firm than than it was here so I thought it would be pretty just to add a little bit of gold um, I like this color a lot pill gold is what it's called um, so let's see what we think I'm just getting a little tiny bit on the brush, kind of dry brushing in a way. And if you ever feel like you've got too much gold somewhere, you can always go back in and add white paint over it and just kind of layer everything, which I always think looks really nice. going to kind of highlight the edges like this. Sometimes I like to paint with my finger because <laughs> I feel like I can get exactly, um, paint exactly where I want it. A little bit better than with the brush. So I'm going to put a cute little quote in this one and call it done. And I love how this turned out. I think it looks really, really cute. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do is this frame right here. And it has these little 
paw prints on the bottom, but I'm just gonna cover those up. So the first thing I wanna do is just cut off my little flowers and I'm gonna leave them on as long of a stem as possible because I'm gonna dip them in this plaster and I need to have something to hang on to when I pull them out. So now I'm gonna mix up my plaster of Paris. I'm using this, I got it off Amazon. You can get it, um, you can get it online really easily. Um, but this is the hobby and craft version and it hardens in 20 to 30 minutes. So you want to mix it in something that you can throw in the trash. So I just cut um, a plastic cup down so that it wouldn't be so hard to dip into it. And then you're gonna do two parts of the plaster of Paris to one part water. Okay, so you're going to want to put your water in first and then add your plaster powder on top of that. So I'm using a fourth of a cup. All right, so I got a plastic fork here. I'm just gonna stir this up really well. You can kind of get a sense of the consistency. It's pretty thick. Woo! All right, I got a little crazy. <laughs> with that stir in there. Okay. So, I'm stirring this up. My cup is a little flimsy. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so I just have a piece of wax paper here. And I'm just going to dip and lay them on the paper and see how this works out. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try and just slip a few of these flowers into the centers here. To kind of make them a little fuller. They're pretty good and dry. So they still have the stems on them and then I'm just cutting off um, as close as I can to the base and then I'll use that to kind of put on here. And I think it looks best to go ahead and add um, like you can see, I have them layered. Um, so like stuck some, stick some of these little paper flowers in there. I just feel like it makes it look a little fuller, like an actual, um, flower. I just went in the exact same way as I did the first one um, and I'm basically just getting in between all the little petals and getting some good coverage and covering up any color that I can see. Okay so now that this white is completely dry I'm going to go back in with a little bit of this gold paint here so I'm using this color gold again. And I'm just gonna do the same thing where I kinda dip it and then dry brush it and brush it on. Once they both are good and dry, you could seal these if you wanted to, 
Um, I probably won't just because they're not going to be outside or anything like that. Um, but that's how they look finished. And then I'm going to print up a little floral quote and stick in mine. And I think they'll be really cute. It'd be cute with pictures and something like that too, but if you wanted to do this as like a gift, it would be so sweet to put a little quote in the frame to give with the gift. Um, you could even use these like for table numbers for an event or a wedding, a baby shower. I just think these are so cute. So I'm going to get the get a uh, quote popped in and then show you kind of how you can style these. But I would love to hear what you think about this. I think they turned out really pretty. And honestly, it's very inexpensive to do. So the frames were a dollar, the flowers were um, three fifty, I believe. And so that's all you need. That and some chalk paint, which I always have chalk paint on hand and hot glue. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.